great day for that. The only fly in the ointment is we got that fire cam that's mm -hmm. burning at the uh, the southern end of uh, Soratown Mountain. We've been talking about through our newscast. This is a current view of that. And uh, one thing I have noticed is that the heavier smoke seems to have gotten a little bit thicker, and that plume has grown a little bit more. I we, this was in view of our our Soratown Mount. We have a transmitter up there, and that's why we have these wonderful pictures we can bring to you of this. I kind of look back at a time lapse of when this first started, and this is about to start about eight o'clock this morning. You can actually see some very light smoke beginning to develop on the site where the fire is currently burning. It gradually begins to intensify as it goes throughout the morning, but you notice how the smoke is bending over the way that it is. We had some stronger winds this morning, and so that may have allowed this to spread a little more quickly than normal. I, I like the fact that the smoke is going more up than it is over. We changed the camera view at that point back to a current view and you can see that the storm can or the uh the uh, smoke continues to billow from this site again. We have a crew in the scene. We're getting more information about this by the hour, and we'll have more information for you a little bit later on in the day. In the meantime, uh, conditions over the area are a little bit on the breezy side in the triad, but in the mountains, kind of close to this location, this, the mountain is almost behind me here. We closest airport, I believe, is Mount Airy, Surrey County, Mount Airy Airport, and we have a southwest wind at five. It is a little bit stronger, uh, five to ten miles per hour, in portions of the northern triad also fairly close to that transmitter site uh, as we take a live view of this once again. <clears throat> Excuse me. We do have blue skies in the forecast today. Temperatures are warming up. Of course, leaves have been falling. There's a lot of litter on the ground, and that does add to the concern factor, of course. Uh, temperatures low to mid-70s right now. We're warming up uh, a little more quickly than we anticipated. We're actually raising highs in the mid to upper 70s this afternoon. Around 3 o'clock is when I have our high pegged around 76, maybe 77 degrees uh, at the airport this afternoon. Southwest winds occasionally get over 10 miles per hour. We're not seeing a lot of that at this hour, and the winds are lighter in the foot hills. A warm day, Mount Airy down through Dobson and into Wilkes County. High temperature around 75 or 76 degrees uh, this afternoon. Mountain temperatures will make a run at 70 degrees today too, with increasing clouds later on tonight. We do have kind of a, a wave of clouds that's farther west that will start to move in this evening. Some high thin clouds first that will come in as a thicker band during the overnight hours. Pretty extensive one too. No rain from that though. In fact, the balance of your Wednesday does look pretty sunny. Sunny, but more clouds move in Thursday and by late Veterans Day we'll have some showers in the forecast that might begin as early as the afternoon, but I think the bulk of this comes in Thursday evening and overnight. Rain chances will eventually bring temperatures down into the 60s and then colder air pours in behind this, bringing the weekend temperatures down again. Should be a breezy weekend with highs in the low to mid 50s.